Mr. Duff, the science buff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Duff, 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 Duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Science rules. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Inertia is a property of matter. Duff, 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 Duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Welcome to Force in Motion with Mr. Duff, the science buff. A force is a push. Oh, Mr. Duff, you sure seem dense. Yeah, you have a lot of mass. As you know, anything that doesn't matter has no mass. And I matter. For a pull. Mr. Destiny, have you ever thought about losing some atoms? Yeah, or how about a massive diet? Get it? Massive? And remember, who needs Bill Nye the Science Guy when you got Mr. Duff the Science Buff? I just wiped out. Friction is a force that opposes motion. My face hit the street, and the street slowed me down and opposed my motion. Friction is such a drag. Shooting a little b-ball here. Speaking of basketball, let me ask you something. Why don't basketball players go on vacation? They're not allowed to travel. Get it? Travel? Well, we're talking about forces. What forces act on this basketball if I shoot it? Well, my hand and my arm will push it upward. Friction of the air molecules will slow it down. And of course, gravity will pull it down through the net. This is Sir Isaac Newton. In 1687, Sir Isaac Newton wrote a book about the three laws of motion. Today we're going to explore his first law. That states that an object at rest wants to stay at rest. An object in motion wants to stay in motion. Some people refer to that as the law of inertia. Now you see on my table I have a container of H2O, a tin pan, and a paper roll with an egg on top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to knock that tin pan out of the way and the egg's going to want to stay where it is because of inertia and then gravity is going to pull it down into the H2O. Let's check this out. Voila! Isn't inertia cool? The gravity pulled the egg right down into the water. Hey, guess what? My wife wants me to mow the yard today. I told her I couldn't because I'm addicted to inertia. You know, I don't want to move. Mr. Duff, the science buff here, about to go hit some balls. Let me ask you something. Which ball do you think will go further, hit with the same amount of force from this bat? The baseball or the bowling ball? Well, the one will go farther with the same amount of force as the one with less mass. You know mass. The amount of stuff in it, the amount of atoms, uh, denser, heavier, has more mass. So which one do you think will go farther? Well, of course, the baseball will go farther. It has less mass. Hey, well, I'm going to go hit some balls. If you're interested in that, by the way, that's uh, Newton's second law. May the force be with you. Mr. Duff, the science buff here at Navarre, Florida's fire department. Today I'd like to explore Newton's third law of motion. That law states that for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, let me demonstrate that to you with my skateboard. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. If the water goes that way, will I go in the opposite direction? Whoa! 